ثانوي فرصة جديدة وحلم جديد وهنعديها بالتأكيد وهنعديها بالتأكيد أولى ثانوي Dear secondary stage students, year one, welcome to our English program and welcome to our channel, Madrasitna 3, under the supervision of the Ministry of Education. أعزائي طالبات وطالبات الصف الأول الثانوي أهلا ومرحبا بكم حلقة جديدة وقناتكم مدرستنا الثلاثة تحت إشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Today we are going to take part three of unit eight. We are going to talk again about modern technology, the pros and the cons of modern technology, the advantages and disadvantages. How can we use modern technology to learn? Okay, let's uh, uh, see together. We are going to see the listening uh, text and we are going to discuss uh, new words together. Let's uh, start. <laughs> Our objectives for this lesson, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to determine the central idea of the listening text. You are going to compare and contrast conflicting arguments and forming opinions. What will you do if you want to find information about a new film? What will you do if you have a lot of free time? If you have a lot of free time, of course, you want to do something to interesting. What can you do? Of course, all of us, when we have free time, we can search onto the internet. We can watch a movie on the internet. We can listen to some music on the internet. So the internet is very important to us. Of course, we will use the internet. So as you know, the internet has become a very, very important part in our life. What would happen if there wasn't internet anymore? Here we use if type 2, and you remember when we use if type 2, it means something improbable. What would happen? Imagine what would happen if we, if we didn't have the internet anymore. Of course, there will be a lot of problems. Business all over the world would be badly affected. And of course, life would be boring. Life would be boring. We wouldn't have something interesting to, to spend our free time. So life would be boring and we wouldn't be able to communicate with each other. So here we have many um, advantages of the internet. We can communicate with each other. We can um, spend our free time in an interesting way. Uh, we can do business all over the world. We can communicate with companies from different uh, parts of the world, we can do um, online shopping and many other things. So what are the pros and the cons of the internet? Try to think about the pros and the cons of the internet. The pros and the cons means the advantages and disadvantages. Of course, here we have Ahmed and Mustafa. They are discussing the cause and results of the invention of the internet. Read and answer the questions. Here we have the opinion of Ahmed. What does Ahmed think of the internet? Ahmed thinks that uh, the reason that we have the internet is that people in different countries can talk to each other. So Ahmed thinks that the most important thing about the internet is that we can communicate, we can talk to each other easily and get answers to their questions. We can do search on the internet. Although we need this fast and easy communication, it can lead to problems. So although the internet is very important, it can lead, it can cause problems, it can lead to problems if people spend too much time talking online and don't work or study enough. I wouldn't say that the internet has caused a lot of problems, but I think it has caused some. So Ahmed told us in this uh, part that uh, the internet has a lot of advantages like communicating with each other or doing uh, research and also it has problem that it makes us lazy or it uh, causes some problems. What about Mustafa? Mustafa thinks that the problem with the internet that it makes people feel they aren't good enough. If you go online you see all these photos of beautiful people of luxury holidays and you think, why isn't my life like that? So Mustafa thinks that the most disadvantage of the internet is that people compare themselves to others' life. 
ان الناس بتقارن حياتها بحياه ناس ثانيه سو دي كان سي لاكشري هوليدايز واتس لاكشري لاكشري مينز فيري اكسبنسيف حياه فخمه جدا اجازات مريحه جدا وفخمه جدا سو لاكشري مينز فيري فيري اكسبنسيف سو دي ساي واي اور لايف ازنت لايك ذات واي وي دونت هاف ذيس لايف This comfortable life, this expensive life, why we don't go to these hotels? This makes some people really unhappy. Perhaps we should all concentrate on our lives. Of course, we should concentrate on our life. What's a concentrate? To focus, to focus on your own life. So don't look at the life of other people. Just look at your own life. Focus or concentrate on your own life. and your own friends and don't use the internet anymore now can you tell me from what we have read together what is the advantage of the internet what is the advantage of the invention of the internet of course one of the most important advantage is that the internet helps to connect people from all over the world together we can communicate we can contact uh, each other easily What about the disadvantage? What is the most important disadvantage of uh, the internet? Of course, the most important disadvantage that people may waste a lot of time. They may waste their time. ممكن نحنا نسيب دراستنا. We can waste our time using the internet. So this is a disadvantage. Again, uh, people may stop working or uh, they um, uh, stay up late for a long time in order to search onto the internet, and this is a waste of time. What is the main problem with the internet? The most important problem which Mustafa talked about is that it makes people feel they aren't good enough. When they see photos of some other on luxury holidays, they ask why our lives isn't like their life so this is a very important defect that we compare our life to other people and we feel unhappy now can you find a word in the passage which which is which means uh, to focus we have a word in the passage which means focus what is it do you remember yes very good it's concentrate to concentrate means to focus and انت تركز على حاجه to focus or to concentrate <coughs> find a word in in the passage which means of high class of high class or very expensive what is it yes very good it's luxury so luxury holiday means a high class holiday or very expensive holiday now i i wanted to give you some um, uh, ways of writing about an invention if you are asked to write about an invention you can use these words the reason that we have this invention is so and so although we need this invention it can lead to هنا انا بذكر advantage and disadvantage although we need it but it can cause problems uh, the problem with this invention is that So we can say the problem of the internet is that it wastes our time. Perhaps we should, perhaps we should use the internet less than we do. Perhaps we shouldn't compare our life to others and so on. One day we will be able to. So these are ways or sentences which you can use in order to write about an invention. Now I want every one of you to talk about another invention. For example, we can talk about the mobile. The reason that we have the mobile is so that we can communicate easily. However, it can make many others use. It have many other use. So the main purpose of the mobile is that we communicate with each other. However, it has many other use. إيه بقى الاستخدامات الأخرى للموبايل? Although we need the mobile, it can lead to many problems. The problem with the mobile is that it affects our social relations badly. So instead of visiting each other on different occasions, we only make a phone call or just have message. Perhaps we should limit the use of the mobile because it threatens our private life. So, so this is an example how to write about an invention. I want every one of you to choose an invention and to write about it. Can you uh, can technology help people to learn? 
Here we have another argument, another thing which we can talk about. Can technology help you to learn if you wanted to learn a language? Can technology help you to learn? Of course, we have an um, argument here. Uh, some people think that technology can help us to learn a language. And some people think that they are traditional and they, uh, they wanted to use a pen and paper in order to learn a language. So we can do research online. If we wanted to learn a language, we can uh, do research online. We can um, uh, look up the words which we don't know in a dictionary online. Um, we have online courses. We can take courses online. Uh, we can use apps that help us to learn languages. So there are many other ways which technology can help us to learn a language by taking online courses or by uh, having dictionaries online and so on. Here we have some words which appeared in this part of the unit. We have the word translation. Of course, when we use modern technology, it can help us translate from a language to another. So for example, if you are in Japan and the people around you speak Japanese, you can have a device, you can have an app on your mobile phone that can translate every word to you so you can understand the Japanese people. So translation, the verb is translate and the noun is translation. So what's a translation? It means words change it into another language. We change words from the English language to the Arabic language or from Arabic into English. An app, what's an app? An app is the short form of application. What's an app? It's an application, it's a software on your smartphone, so an app is an application or a software on your smartphone and it can help you to do something like it can help you for example to translate like the GPS is an application which can help you to know um, the directions or to um, know the way where you are going. We have a quiz. Of course we said that, that technology can help us to do a quiz online. So what's a quiz? A quiz means a test of how much you have learned. A quiz is a short test of how much you have learned. It tests you how much you have learned. To chat, what's it to chat? To chat means to talk, to discuss something. To chat means to communicate with other people online. We have the word feedback. What does it mean feedback? When you buy something or when you go to a restaurant, for example, this place asks you to give your feedback, means to give your opinion. What's your opinion? What are the advantages and disadvantages? You criticize this place. You say the good points and the bad points. So this is the feedback. So what's the feedback? Feedback means information about how well or how badly you did something. How well you did something or how badly you did something. Your opinion about something. Now we have Amal and Dahana discussing how technology helps people to learn. As I told you, one of them thinks that technology can help us to learn and the other thinks that uh, she is traditional and she likes to use a paper and pen. We have Amal. Amal is with technology. She thinks that technology is, is useful and that technology is so useful when you are learning something, you can find the information you need quickly if you don't understand a word uh, in a text, you can find the translation for it. But Hannah thinks that uh, you are right, Amal, but does that really help you to learn? I think that if you learn something, you remember it. So Hannah thinks that modern technology doesn't help her to learn. Technology can't help you remember things or write texts. But Amal has another opinion. She thinks that uh, if you use a language app, for example, you can do quizzes and um, you can remember words to help you remember them. And there are apps that give you feedback on your writing so you can do it better the next time. But Hannah again thinks she, there is argument between Hannah and Amal here. I understand what you are saying. That's just not the way I learn. I prefer using pen and paper. So Hannah here is traditional. She likes to use pen and paper in order to learn a language. 
I prefer using pen and paper and making notes in my notebook. I don't need a smartphone. So Amal said that every one of us is different and every one of us has a different way to learn. Every one of us has his own way of learning. Okay, so uh, here we have argument between Amal and Hana. Both of them express their um, opinion about learning language. And I want to um, listen to your argument again. I want to listen to your opinion. If you like technology to learn, if you don't like it to learn. So here we have a summary of what we have read together. How can technology help us to learn? We said that it can help the students to do quizzes online to evaluate themselves. Also, we said it can help students do research. Again, it can help a student translate from one language to another. And it can help people who don't live near school. So if you live um, away from school, you can learn online. You can uh, use an um, application which helps you to translate from a language to another. You can do courses online. Uh, there are apps which give you feedback about your learning and so on. Now let's look at um, some choices of the vocab which we have taken today. Number one, the internet might be the best invention we have, but it has also, it has also a lot of problems. What is the verb here? It has done a lot of problems, caused a lot of problems, bought or vanished. Of course, here we say cause a problem. Here we have the qualification, the, um, the collocation, cause a problem cause a problem, يسبب مشاكل. Number two, will this technology have a or negative effect on our life? Of course, here we want the opposite of the word negative. What is the opposite of negative? Is it passive, bad, positive, or ineffective? We have the word positive. So positive and negative, these are opposites. Positive, إيجابي, and negative, سلبي. Question number three, technology isn't always a good thing. It can lead to a lot of. Here we can say it can cause a lot of or it can lead a lot of. Lead to, means it can cause. It can cause a lot of advantage, problems, benefits or effects. Of course, it can lead to many problems. So uh, as we have discussed together, that technology can be a good thing and can be a bad thing, but we decide which um, uh, thing we want to do with it. We can use it to learn, we can use it to do quizzes and many other things. We're going to discuss how to write a paragraph or an essay, but we are going to do that on the light board. Let's go together. When we write an essay, we have three important parts. The first part is the intro, introduction. The introduction means that you give the reader ideas or you give the reader the summary of what you are going to talk about. You give him the main idea of this writing. The second one is the body or the details. The details of what you are going to talk about, the ideas, what you are going to talk about, what are the different ideas or the argument you are going to, to make in this essay. The third and the last one is the conclusion. What is the conclusion? The conclusion is the end of the essay. It's the summary of what you have talked about you summarize all the points which you have talked about. So for example, if you wanted to talk about technology, if you want to talk about technology or any invention, try to draw a map like this. This is called a mind map. In order to generate ideas, try to generate ideas. So who invented this invention? why we need this invention and what it can do for us and how it changes our life. 
and so on. Ask many questions about this thing in order to generate many ideas, in order to use here in the body. So these are the main parts which you, um, can uh, make the structure of uh, the essay. Try to use it and it will help you to uh, write a good essay. Of course, uh, today uh, we have um, taken the listening text. We have uh, um, discussed some arguments about technology. Some people think that technology is a good thing, and some people think it's bad, it's a waste of time. Uh, some people think it can help us to learn, and some people say, no, uh, we are traditional, and we want to use our pen and paper in order to learn. It's up to you. Everyone is different, and everyone has his own way of um, understanding and studying, uh, so it's up to you. I want every one of you to write um, an essay about uh, modern technology or choose an invention and write about it. Until we meet again, wish you best of luck. Goodbye. <laughs>